Hey, how you doing? This is Adam Post, publisher of more than a thousand comic books and marketing expert covering BlackRock Boycott. Investor pulls $8.5 billion over ESG. Let's get into the story. Before we do, please be sure you are subscribed to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys. Coming from the New York Post, Texas yanks $8.5 billion from Larry Fink's BlackRock in massive blow against the scam of ESG. And from CityWire, BlackRock issues fiery response after Texas school fund pulls $8.5 billion from the firm. BlackRock is not happy, and they do have a cool exclusive response here. We're going to cover it. And it's not just Texas. From Investopedia, Florida pulls $2 billion from BlackRock over objections to sustainable investing, also known as ESG. These investment companies are starting to see they're fooling around with the wrong states. From the New York Times, Bank of America pledged to stop financing coal. Now it's backtracking. The changes come as Republican lawmakers step up efforts to punish businesses that consider climate change and the environment in their operations. Also ESG nonsense. From the New York Post, Texas yanks $8.5 billion from Larry Fink's BlackRock and massive blow against the scam of ESG. The state of Texas is terminating a massive $8.5 billion investment with trillion-dollar asset manager BlackRock over the state's determination that the firm is engaged in a boycott of energy companies. In an announcement first shared with Fox Business, Texas State Board of Education Chairman Aaron Kinsey said the so-called Texas Permanent School Fund, the PSF, had delivered a notice to BlackRock on Tuesday informing the New York City-based firm of the action. According to Kinsey, the move was made in accordance with a 2021 state law that seeks to distance the state and its large public purse from financial institutions boycotting the oil and gas sector. Quote, the Texas Permanent School Fund has a fiduciary duty to protect Texas schools by safeguarding and growing the approximately $1 billion in annual oil and gas royalties managed by the Texas General Land Office, Kinsey said in a statement on Tuesday. Terminating BlackRock's contract ensures PSF's full compliance with Texas law. BlackRock's dominant and persistent leadership in the ESG movement immeasurably damages our state's oil and gas economy and the very companies that generate revenues for our PSF. Texas and the PSF have worked hard to grow this fund to build Texas's schools, he continued. BlackRock's destructive approach toward the energy companies that this state and our world depend on is incompatible with our fiduciary duty to Texans. And a fiduciary duty is a responsibility to look out for the people that you represent, like an attorney representing a client. The divestment represents a large share of the $53 billion Texas PSF, a fund created in the 19th century to support the state's public schools. The action also represents by far the largest divestment of its kind since Republican-led states began terminating their financial ties to BlackRock and other financial institutions over their pursuit of so-called environmental, social, and governance standards. The ESG movement, which has picked up steam in recent years, calls for investments to be pulled from traditional energy industries and diverted to green energy industries in the fight against global warming. However, the ESG movement has faced significant resistance from both the energy industry and lawmakers at the state and federal level. As part of that pushback, Texas passed Senate Bill 13 in 2021 requiring its state comptroller to list financial companies found to boycott fossil fuel companies. You boycott us, we boycott you. Texas comptroller Glenn Hagar most recently updated that list in October, including BlackRock and several funds managed by the firm, and has called on the Texas Permanent School Fund, in addition to five more state pension funds, to sever ties with the asset manager. Quote, today represents a major step forward for the Texas PSF and our state as a whole. The PSF will not stand idle as our financial future is attacked by Wall Street, Kinsey said on Tuesday. This bold action helps ensure our PSF remains in fact permanent and will continue to support bright futures and opportunities for generations of Texas students. BlackRock, which manages more than $10 trillion in assets, has sought to defend itself in recent months from accusations that it's boycotting energy companies, noting that it remains invested in traditional energy companies but factors in ESG matters because it serves clients with a range of investment objectives. Additionally, the company partnered with major energy company Occidental Petroleum late last year on a carbon capture project in Ector County, Texas. 
Well, BlackRock is helping millions of Texans invest in safer retirement, a BlackRock spokesman told Fox Business. On behalf of our clients, so it's not their money, it's their clients' money, like pension funds, like this fund from Texas that's getting pulled from BlackRock, they're bragging about how they invest other people's money. And that's fine. It's true that they're doing that, but they should have a little bit more respect for the people whose money they're investing. They continue. On behalf of our clients, we've invested more than $300 billion in Texas-based companies, infrastructure, and municipalities, including the $125 billion invested in the energy sector, including a $550 million joint venture with Occidental. We recently hosted an energy summit in Houston designed to explore how to strengthen Texas's power grid. If BlackRock wants to make Texas's energy grid more dependable, they could start by getting rid of those ridiculous solar panels. Still, Texas's move was cheered by Derek Kreefels, the CEO of the State Financial Officers Foundation, and Will Hild, the Executive Director of Consumers Research, who have led nationwide opposition to ESG policies. But today's bold step by Aaron Kinsey and the Permanent School Fund of Texas, in accordance with state law, is a massive blow against the scam of ESG, said Kreefels. This is what happens when public fiduciaries stand up for those to whom they owe a duty, instead of bowing down to Wall Street's asset managers who continue to abuse their position in the market to advance radical ideologies. Under Larry Fink's leadership, BlackRock has been misusing client funds to push a political agenda for years. Nowhere was that more egregious than in Texas, where BlackRock was simultaneously trying to destroy the domestic oil and gas industry while managing funds that depend on royalties derived from that very same industry added Hild. A more flagrant violation of fiduciary duty is difficult to imagine. Hild says Texas's divestment sends a clear message to Wall Street elites that people can no longer be bullied into complying with ESG's destructive ideology. These guys are on fire and I am with them 100%. Prior to the action announced Tuesday, Arizona, Arkansas, Florida, Louisiana, Missouri, South Carolina, Utah, and West Virginia announced similar divestments. And a divestment is just where they say, listen, we're pulling the money away from you. We're going to invest it with someone else. BlackRock will not get the fees anymore from investing that money. Someone else will, and they won't also have extra influence because they won't control where that money gets invested. The more money they have to invest for clients, the more they use it to influence policies like ESG, like DEI, like all this stuff that has damaged people's quality of life and is all based upon a fraud. The largest previous divestment was from Florida, announced by Florida Chief Financial Officer Jimmy Patronus in December 2022. Some critics of the state's moves distancing themselves from BlackRock and other asset managers have argued the actions harm consumers. For example, a Texas Association of Business Chambers of Commerce Foundation study released last week concluded Texas's fair access laws will result in a $668 million loss in economic activity and 3,034 fewer full-time and permanent jobs. Yeah, if you believe that. In the meantime, they're not going to be shutting down oil and gas, which is what Western civilization relies on. We need energy to make things, to heat our homes, and even to grow food. Way to go, Texas. And from CityWire, BlackRock issues fiery response after Texas School Fund pulls $8.5 billion from the firm. So this costs money and influence to BlackRock. They manage a lot of money. It's not like this is all the money they manage. It sends a terrible signal, though, to BlackRock's own investors, to other people's funds that they control, because it shows, hey, we can stand up to you and take our money away from you if you push these ridiculous policies that hurt people. It's a really bad look for BlackRock. The defestment is the latest salvo in the ongoing conflict between the asset manager and the Lone Star State over ESG investing. In 2022, the state blacklisted BlackRock and nine other asset managers, preventing them from receiving state contracts of over $100,000 unless they committed to not boycotting energy companies or certain exceptions were required by law. Texas is far from alone. Missouri, Louisiana, and Kentucky and other Republican-dominated states have also taken money out of BlackRock at least in part due to their ESG policies. BlackRock was highly critical of the latest decision, insisting that it would be bad for Texas stakeholders who have profited from BlackRock's performance. Quote, today's unilateral and arbitrary decision by Board of Education Chair Aaron Kinsey jeopardizes Texas schools and the families who have benefited from BlackRock's consistent long-term outperformance for the Texas Permanent School Fund. Contrary to Kinsey's claims that the company boycotts Texas energy concerns, BlackRock stated that it has $120 billion invested 
and Texas public energy companies. Quote, as a fiduciary, politics should never outweigh performance, especially for taxpayers, the statement continued. Politics should never outweigh performance. Well, stop pushing your ideological ESG agenda and then start talking to us. Kinsey and the Texas Board of Education have not immediately responded to requests for comment at the time of this publication because they've already spoken. They've spoken by taking their money away from BlackRock, along with several other Republican-led states. And from the New York Times, Bank of America pledged to stop financing coal. Now it's backtracking because they have no choice. Two years ago, Bank of America won kudos from climate activists for saying it would no longer finance new coal mines, coal burning power plants, or Arctic drilling projects because of the toll they take on the environment. The bank's latest environment and social risk policy reneged on those commitments. That policy, updated in December, says that such projects will instead be subject to enhanced due diligence. Due diligence is just when they go and they check the investment a little more closely. It doesn't mean they're not going to be investing in it. It means almost the opposite. Bank of America's change follows intensifying backlash from Republican lawmakers against corporations that consider environmental and social factors like diversity, equity, and inclusion in their operations. Wall Street in particular has come under fire for what some Republicans have called woke capitalism, a campaign that has pulled banks into the culture wars. Are you kidding me? You guys started the culture wars. Just because people fight back while they're being attacked and they're fighting back defensively doesn't mean they're starting culture wars. Defending yourself is not aggressive. It's defensive. So as states and authorities and individuals say, look, we don't want what you're pushing on us. They say you're in a culture war and you're pulling them into a culture war. No, you're defending yourself. And that's what these states should be doing. That's what every individual has to do. And if you don't do it, obviously, we're going to be overrun by these people. Who are these people? I have no idea. It's the people that are attacking you. It's the people pushing what they call a progressive agenda into every aspect of our lives. If you agree with it, go along with it. If you don't agree with it, don't look the other way. Just say, no, this is not for me. I'm not signing on to it and go the other way. That's all these states are doing. States including Texas and West Virginia have passed financial regulations designed to ward off efforts to deny fossil fuel companies access to banking services. Well, why would Texas want to ward off or prevent efforts to block fossil fuel companies from getting financing so that they could actually operate? They say it as if Texas and West Virginia are trying to start trouble. No, they're trying to stop trouble. They're trying to say, listen, no, we're not going to just give up on oil and gas because Larry Fink or anyone else has an agenda. In New Hampshire, state lawmakers have sought to criminalize the business principle known as ESG. New Hampshire's got the right idea. These actions have sent a chill through the ESG world. Last year, big investors pulled money out of sustainability-focused funds at a record rate as they shied away from the sector amid conservative criticism. Also, those funds were performing really badly. People weren't getting a reasonable return on their investment. They're trying to get a return on their money. That's it. If the return isn't there, stop telling people they should put their money there or stop taking people's money and putting it into investments for ideological purposes when you know there's not going to be a return on investment. Larry Fink, that's this guy, chief executive of the asset management firm BlackRock and once a proponent of ESG, said last June that he had stopped using the term because it had become too politicized. He was getting a lot of heat, so he backed off using it. But people know what Larry Fink is all about. He's not about taking care of his investors if he's about pushing ESG. Texas is fighting back. Florida's fighting back. West Virginia, Arizona, multiple states are fighting back. They're not buying into this nonsense. It's a BlackRock boycott, and it's about time. Let me know what you think of all this in the comments below. Always love to see your ideas. Please be sure you are subscribed to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you again soon with another story. And if I don't see you, I will miss you.